All right, welcome to the crash course on how to create a pixel fixture or a multi-instance custom fixture in MA3. A while ago, I did a video about how to create a custom fixture in MA3, and since then, a lot of folks have asked me for one about how to create a custom pixel fixture. We're gonna make one just like this, uh, a couple sub fixtures. Yeah, so let's dive in, let's figure out how to make this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we'll navigate to our patch, we'll go to fixture types, new fixture type, Let's insert a new fixture type and we'll name this pixel tape. We're gonna edit. Okay. So let's call this mode just RGB dim. That is the mode we will use. And now we're gonna come over to geometries. All right, so what we're gonna want to do here is we already have one that is a just regular geometry. I'm gonna label this base. And then I'm gonna insert a new geometry as well that is a beam and i'm going to name this pixel okay so you'll see that this is linked to a model you can come over here and we're also going to insert a new model i am going to label this model a base and this one pixel to keep consistency and then over here our pixel model has the our pixel geometry has the model pixel and our base is going to have the base as well. This is looking good so far. So let's leave this for now and let's just create our regular profile. Okay. So we'll come over here. We're going to insert four DMX channels. We're going to operate on a RGB piece of LED tape and we're going to create a virtual dimmer as well. I'll show you guys how to do that. So I've added four DMX channels. The first three, one, two, three for the course. Um, and this is our RGB, and then this last one is our uh, virtual dimmer. As a matter of four, it doesn't actually have a physical DMX value. Like the tape controller doesn't have a dim channel, it's just this will control the master for all of these. Let's just make sure I switch that to pixel. Okay, this geometry should be base, and yeah, this all looks good, okay. If I go over here, I'm going to set the attributes of these, so let's set this to be RGB. This will be green and this will be blue and then our final one here is going to be our dimmer okay this this looks good let's make sure that reacts to the grand or virtual dimmer there uh, yeah we shouldn't need anything else over there as our highlight values we will set those to be 255 this is decimal eight so that's going to be 100 percent and our default for color we want to default to 100 okay so this this is looking good uh, now what we have to do is we have to enable new object line down here and we're going to add a couple of relations. So we're going to add three relations. Let's call this one uh, virtual dimmer red. So now we're setting up our virtual dimmer. This is going to be virtual dimmer green and this will be virtual dimmer blue. Uh, multiply is fine. If we come over here to master going to set all of these to pixel dimmer so that's going to reference this channel up here and then over here for follower let's set this to be red so basically we go down so this is going to be our green channel so we go down to channel two all the way down to the channel function and same with our blue okay this looks good and now this looks a little confusing but if we close that it all looks well and good and this is uh yeah this is what we want so basically all we've done so far is we've created an RGB fixture type along with a completely virtual dimmer, which references these relations, as you can see there. Okay, so now let's go back to geometries. Let's make sure new object line is enabled. And under the base, we're going to insert a new geometry, a geometry reference to be specific. And this is gonna end up being our pixels. So let's just say, I don't know, we're gonna add maybe five pixels for this example and you'll add as many as you need geometry references this is all good we'll go over here to geometry and now we want to set this geometry to be pixel which is the only option lovely okay you immediately see we get a show conflicts button down here and if we scroll over more we now see we've had a dmx option show up along with the offset so i'm going to select all of these one and now you can see it's labeled we have three channels so that is right so these are our pixels in case you haven't figured this out by now so i can label these pixel one and now we have all of that so basically this is referencing this uh this geometry 
and over here we're referencing that same geometry. So as you can see, it's a little bit um, you know, all over the place, but it gets the job done. And I'm kind of operating on like models. This is used for 3D. This I haven't really set this up to be usable in a 3D space. Uh, this is more just usable for uh, like the profile and selection grid. If you wanted to set it up in a 3D space, you would need to um, like kind of start setting that up in the models and in the geometries as well with the individual pixels. Uh, but yeah, this is how you create a multi-instance fixture. Okay, so now if we go out of that, um, let's go to our patch. And let's actually patch this fixture. Okay, so DNX 5.5, fixture ID 2, this all looks good, lovely. We'll save and exit. Okay, so now if I go 2.1 through, which will select Victor 2, which is what we patched it, and we'll select all the pixels. You can now see we have all of them right there. Look at that. Oh, I can see I've made a boo-boo. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Highlight on? Yes, that would do it. I was like, I did this wrong, but I didn't. Highlight was on. Yep, so now we can see we have all of our attributes and our five pixels as well which is quite handy, right? Quite cool, yeah. So that is how you create a multi-instance fixture. You can see in, uh, it has them all labeled as the sub-fixtures. You can add as many as you need. And this uh, concept applies, this general structure applies to creating a moving head fixture as well with pixels. You would make your ge the needed geometry and then you use the tree structure to place the pixels where you needed them uh, on the specific geometry, if that makes sense. So again, keep an eye on your mer new object line and merge children line as that will kind of dictate what you're seeing. So if you're not seeing something, it could be because of these settings here. All right. Like, subscribe, do the thing. Thanks all for hanging out. And uh, yeah, chat soon.